Well, it's time for Media Watch, and Erin Ogake is here with us in the studio. Erin, you've been taking yeah. a look at what is uh, making a splash online today. Um, we're going to start with the uh, Harry Potter author, J.K. Rowling, who's got herself involved in a very thorny dispute. Tell us yes. about that. Yes, it has spiralled out of control so much so that... Uh, Amongst the top trends on Twitter, three of them were related to this story here. Wow. So before I go into the tweet that has gotten J.K. Rowling into, into some trouble, I'm just going to give you some background information, uh, which is that this woman here tweeted, Maya, um, Maya, Maya Forrester, Forrester okay. tweeted last year uh, that uh, transgender women cannot change their biological sex. Now, this tweet was in response to a government proposal to reform the Gender Recognition Act. This is a British woman. This is all Yeah, a British UK, woman, right? yeah, all in the UK. Um, so she was responding with that tweet mm -hmm. um, um, to respond to, to a, to a legal, uh, legislative proposal in the UK that would allow people to self-identify as the opposite sex. Now, her tweet, of course, saying that people can't choose their sex. They're either one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, and so she was fired from her job for that tweet. And after she was fired, she took the case to court, arguing that the view that there are only two biological sexes falls under the realm of uh, a protected belief under the UK's 2010 Equality Act. Now, yesterday, a labor court in the UK also said, no, uh, that tweet is, incom quote, incompatible with human dignity and fundamental rights of others, and people do not have the legal right to question whether a transgender person is a man or a woman. So with that uh, ruling, yesterday's ruling in She in said mind, biological sex, not gender. Exactly, okay. exactly. And so with that ruling in mind, J.K. Rowling tweets this, uh, dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real, I stand with Maya. This is not a drill. Um, and she's had an awful lot of backlash to that herself. A lot she? of backlash, yes. And the backlash has uh, brings to light not only uh, the different divisions within the feminist movement, but also how difficult it is to have uh, a calm debate about thorny subjects, indeed, over social media. So in addition to I Stand With Maya and J.K. Rowling trending, uh, the term TERF was also trending. Now, TERF is an acronym, as ACT UP says, that stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. Uh, this uh, organization saying, J.K. Rowling, you are a TERF. Now, a TERF, what, what does that mean? It essentially means that it's someone who purports to be a feminist or a radical feminist, but who excludes uh, transgender people from their realm of And it's activism. used as an insult. Of course, as, as, a, as a, a horrible insult, especially on social media. Now, the fact that she's been called a TERF means that she has essentially been cancelled uh, online, yes. which of course <laughs> just means that she's She's uh, she, she's no longer accepted among woke society. Uh, so a lot of criticism there. This person saying, you know, it's not possible to live your best life in peace and security if there are other people constantly debating your right to exist, sneering at your struggles, and smearing you uh, based on nothing but the fact that your gender identity is not the norm. Um, this person, of course, there's also been a lot of uh, criticisms of her that mesh uh, Harry Potter Per, uh, yeah. characters. So Professor Umbridge, obviously kind of this uptight, very conservative women. So this this person saying, I decided to see, I, I, I checked to see why J.K. Rowling is trending, trending because I know little about Harry Potter and see that she's a turf. So basically she's this lady, right. uh, Professor Umbridge. Um, this person saying Some JK, people say that's really going into the realm of misogyny as well. Really. Very much so. Women I mean, it's really being insulted. Yeah, it's a, it's a sticky debate. Yeah, it really um, is. This person saying J.K. Rowling is like a month away from announcing Dumbledore has sexful, successfully completed Ooh. gay conversion therapy. Just kind of rough, uh, rough criticisms. Um, now, Obviously, there have also been a lot of tweets in support of both Maya and J.K. Rowling. This woman saying, uh, the sex we are is a biological reality, a scientific fact, uh, whereas gender today is a social construct, an, an ideology, a feeling totally changeable. I believe we cannot change sex, so the biological uh, definition of sex, but we can live happily in expressing ourselves outside of any stereotypes. So it really brings also the, 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 the debate to light about you know, the difference between gender, which is maybe... Uh, societal is a, is a construction based on society and biology, which for some is, you know, can't be changed. And for others, we need to be more fluid. In it, is, it is a hugely complex uh, subject. And as we can see uh, from what you've just brought us, it is hugely emotive and controversial as well. Top three trending topics on Twitter. Even now. That is remarkable. Sadly, we have to leave it there, Erin, but thank you very much. Indeed. Thanks, Erin Ogunke there. Now, moving to 